G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here, Partner Manager and Product Evangelist for Valo, and welcome to this edition of the Valo Quick Tips, where we're going to take a look at the options that you have available to you with Valo to be able to make your web parts look and feel uh, a little bit different uh, and customize them uh, in ways in which they become more visually appealing. So. We're gonna tackle both at a web part instance level on a particular page and also at a more higher level at a, at a template level as well. So what you can see on the page here is just a, a, a basic Valo homepage and you can see on the right hand side here, we've got our quick links uh, web part added to the page. And it's in a tile format with a solid background color. Now let's just say that we wanna have maybe some rounded corners and we'll remove the background color and, and just change uh, the visual uh, display of these tiles. So let's just jump into edit mode here. And what we can see here in the web part properties of this web, pa web part here is a styling section. So, and when I click on that, I can add some additional CSS here. So I've already gone ahead and written some CSS and I'm gonna paste that in this box here. I'm gonna make it format a little bit nicer here and we'll hit save. So now that I've saved that, I'll republish this page and you can see the look and feel of these tiles now has changed to a, a rounded corner. Uh, we don't have that solid blue background anymore and we've got the, the, the icons and the text are now in blue. Now, what you'll also notice is when I hover over these now, the background now fills to pink and the text now and the icons change to white. All right, so using the properties and some cust the properties of the web part and some custom CSS, we do have the uh, ability to change the look and feel and style of these uh, of these tiles. Now, again, follow along along that theme. We've got our web part here that is handling our events. And let's say that we want to change the template for the way that these events are displayed. So what we just did there was we, we changed the instance of a web part on this particular page, but it wouldn't affect other web parts on other pages that are using the, the quick links. But if we wanted all of our events web parts to have the same look and feel, then we can do that at a higher level, at a template level and at a theme level. So using our uh, theming engine called Lightsaber, what we can see here is that I've got an option here to apply some template CSS. Now the template that, that uh, this web part here is using is what's called compact events. Now what I can do here, again, I've written some CSS here and I have, let me just paste that in here. You can see here that I'm adding a border radius of 25 pixels to, uh, to the event. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that now. And now what's gonna happen after I apply this theme to the intranet, every web part instance that is using that particular uh, template is going to have that CSS applied. So let's just wait for that to apply. So that has now applied. Now let's jump back onto the home page and see what the results are. So I'm just gonna jump into the toolbox here and I'm gonna clear the browser cache and reload the page. And now let's have a look at how our events display now. So as we scroll down the page here, you can see now that I've got some rounded corners all around uh, the, the dates of these events and this web part. So that now means that when I add this uh, compact and use the compact events template to display events, they're always now going to have those rounded corners. And it now follows along with the theme that I've added or the, the style that I've added up here in these in the, the Quick Links web part. So as you can see there, we do have a lot of flexibility and the, the customization options for you to be able to not only customize the look and feel of web part instances of a page, but also at a more higher level where we can apply some styling to templates and when those templates are used with our web parts, it's gonna apply those custom stylings to those, uh, to those web parts across the board as well. So I hope that brings you some value today. I hope you can see now the power of the, the theming engine uh, that is available with Valo to make uh, your web parts look and feel the way that you would like. 
Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.